So you, you you could care less about Charlo versus Canelo. Who do you think is going to win? It's not that I would care less. I, look, but I, I I think I again I think of it as Mikey and Spence. I, I yeah I think it's I think it's Canelo. Okay. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. You know we'll see. Um, is if is Canelo the- insists on throwing single shots, you know he, he could he could wind up with some difficulty. But I think you got to like him going to fight. Sure, I I absolutely think he'll probably. St- I would have to think if I had to bet that he would stop Charlo. Um, well, by the way, th- this has become um, – I-, I don't like this fight as, a, as, as matchmaking. I think there's, there's way better fights um, for Canelo and for, and for Charlo. But, well, but wait, wait, there's this phenomenon that, that's come up this decade. Like guys think um, it's a worthwhile career – to just spend years calling out Canelo. And what you really see is the best way to make your case is not by talking shit and hoping Canelo bites. It's by fighting other guys and knocking them out. You know, I guess we would both, we'd both rather see Canelo Benavides, right? Of course. All right. So the way that's going to line up, it's going to be like at the end of time. Um, you know, I, I want to, I'm a boxing fan. I want to see Benavides fight great fighters, like not not fight. You know, yes. I thought that the plant fight was interesting, but I, I, I want to see more. He, right. he's, he's an interesting he's an interesting fighter. He's fluid. He's powerful. Um, but I, I don't want to wait a year in between fights for this kid. Right. I mean, the, the only fight for him really, unless he moves up to light heavyweight, Benavides that is, is Canelo. But that's tied up for at least until. Like November, de- December, Jan- no, January next year at minimum. Look, there's um, there's, there's guys at sixty eight who can fight. You know, right. I mean, there's there's always there's always guys. Um, I, what I what I find unfortunate is everybody holds on to the O or holds on to their rep just so they can get a shot at, at, at Canelo. I mean, I thought that. I thought that, for instance, Golovkin did himself a disservice at the tail end of his career. However, you see the fights, if he was jobbed or, or not, um, I thought I, I thought that the second decision was fair. I thought that Canelo really outboxed him and yeah. and controlled. Okay, um, but just to spend years whining about Canelo instead of fighting guys. It's not interesting, right. and it doesn't, well, it doesn't make your case. You make your case by by putting really you you make your case by putting sensational performances on film. Right, okay. but but it, I agree with you. But there's also the juxtaposition of that, which is he could fight seven or eight of these great other fighters, and he makes way more money and more notoriety in one Canelo fight. So he, that you know they want that lottery. You know what I mean? I, I, under, I understand that. I'm, I'm just saying that the. I understand why they're doing it, and if I were in their position, I might do it too. Right. But it, it makes it's one of it's one of the many reasons why the sport is atrophying. Right. Um, and you know, I think Canelo, to your point about the Charlo fight not being a good fight, I think he's fighting Charlo because Canelo Canelo has had uh, two, not the best, you know, one loss and one he's had, he wants a safe fight. That's going to, you know, build up his confidence back, you know, present, put him on that platform and pedestal that his fans are used to seeing him. Um, and that's why I think he's doing it because it doesn't make any sense. You know, Charlo's taking it for the money, but if it wasn't for the notoriety and the money, he wouldn't want to put himself into that kind of fight. Cause it's a, it's a, it's a risky fight for Charlo, real risky. It's not a risky score. Like the same thing with Mikey. Like I think that you know, and 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 you make a decision. Mike, I think that Mikey wanted to make a score. Um, it's unfortunate right. to me, but I'm not. I'm not in his body. I'm not taking the risk. Right. But I, you know. I think I think Mikey had great talent and should be remembered as a great great fighter. Mm-hmm. But I. Again, I would have rather have seen the best really fight the best in, in relatively same weight classes than, than jumping up to make a score. Exactly. And then 
you know, uh, along the same note here is Fury fighting Nganu. Um, what do you think about that? <laughs> I, I think I think Fury. This is my litmus test, my personal like. If a guy's special, does he look like anyone else? Does he fight like anyone else? And Fury, with 85 inches in reach, and he can box, and and he's become more rugged. Wow, that's really interesting. But if I'm if I'm being honest, I really like the guy. Yeah, he hasn't had a fight. Like a, Fight since Dillian White. That was a long time ago, and Dillian White was was past. Yes, his, his expiration date. Now, like uh, we went over there to cover it in Wembley. I've never seen anything like it. it. Gave me hope for boxing. You know, to fill a stadium with probably a hundred thousand people, or damn close to it. Wow. That was that was man. That was that was incredible. But whatever the business reason is, I'm tired of it, man. Fight Usyk. Guys, do it. I just, I, I never heard like rematch clauses and, and well, stop it already. My opinion, and tell me if you agree, I saw this trend uh, when Floyd and Pacquiao. But it, but it, it, yeah, a lot of it started there. I'm sorry. I'm it's, this, 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 this quote, the A side talk drives me crazy. And it's what I think is corrupting all of these and preventing all of these mega fights now, this A side thinking. But but think think about this. Like it, this is it, it took I mean, I guess they started talking. Pacquiao and Mayweather became a topic in like two thousand and eight. I think like six or seven. Two thousand and seven. Yeah, okay. Um and they fight in what, fifteen? Yeah. Okay. 15 or 16, I don't know, whatever. Yeah. But it, it took them twice as long to get one fight in. And they were both past their prime. That much we know, both of them. Right. However easily Floyd handled them. It took them twice as long to make one fight that turned out to be boring as hell than it took Ali and Frazier to stage – the greatest trilogy we've ever seen, or at least I think so. And 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 the sport doesn't grow from guys not fighting. The sport doesn't grow from like marinating for that long. You know, you get a wine that's too old; it tastes like piss, sorry, or vinegar, whatever. You don't. No one gets over not fighting. You get rich and famous by fighting. Now. There's enormous risk. I, I understand that. Um, and personally, I'm no one to judge. But if, if you're examining what, what's wrong, there you go. I mean, yeah. you know, Joshua and Fury should, should, should be on their third fight now. The only, you know, and, and the, the, a truly interesting trilogy, even though it, it turned out to be one-sided, was, was Wilder and Fury. Right? right, and that for the first fight, especially I was there, was magical, but it wasn't expected to be a competitive fight, and that's why it was made. It was a bullshit fight, you know. I mean, people were talking. Is Frank Warren just like is he cashing out on Fury now? That was oh, the they, talk. you're saying that they thought Fury was going to get dispatched. Fury was Fury was like in the in the in the not too distant past. Fury was talking about, you know, was, was suicidal, was nuts. Right, right, right. That, right. that comeback was, was, that he made, you know, from like 400 and whatever pounds and was extraordinary. But the, the trilogy the trilogy only happened because the first installment was supposed to be like a get, like easy money. And it turned out to be something that no one expected on, on, on many levels. So that, that's, why, that's why it was made. Um, no one was expecting some epic trilogy from Tyson Fury. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. And then it ended up being, as you said, very one-sided. Um, so, you know, we're going on like 47 minutes here. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. People are going to die of boredom listening to me. <laughs> well, well, we'll wrap it up shortly. Um, 
So what I wanted to say, though, as we kind of run towards the finish line here, um, do you have any interest in the Fury fight with Nganu? I mean, do I have any interest? Uh, I might be covering it. I, you know, I, I might... Tyson Fury is always interesting. Yeah. Okay. And you're going to have Mike Tyson in Ngannou's corner. I, I guess you can make the case that it that it's an attraction. So was Ali and Inoki an attraction? Right. But, again, it, it's part of what we've been talking about. It's an, To me... It's another get over. Like everyone's feeding at the trough and everyone's winking at the same thing. Like, oh, we're getting paid. Right. And it may be a great attraction. Like when, like when I first heard of um, McGregor and Mayweather, I remember people saying, oh, this is terrible. I thought it was great because it really was interesting. And, and, and we hadn't seen that before. And it turned out that McGregor could talk smack even better than Mayweather. Yeah, he was good. Okay. But the novelty of that kind of thing is worn off. Right. And and now it's become the main event. And 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 um I don't I don't blame Jake Paul at all. But um and, and what Jake Paul does is really serious and he and he respects the sport. But he's not but but we've turned We've turned the attraction into the main event. Right. You know, um, I'm not diminishing anything Jake Paul's doing, but I think that not just Jake Paul, but all these these, these exhibition, the market for these things. And I'm kind of I'm, I'm, I'm playing a little bit loose here, lumping in Jake Paul with Fury and Ngannou. Right. But the reason this stuff is happening is because boxing isn't giving you the fights that you should have as a fan, straight up. Best fight the best. Everyone talks about it, no one does it. Right, right. So, right. so this market arose for kind of extracurricular fights. Okay, I agree. Um, so I guess the last thing I want to ask is uh, arguably, not even arguably, the, the deepest, most exciting division in boxing, the lightweight division, has a handful of Haney, Shakur, Tio, Tank. Um, who do you think is the cream of the crop? Who do you think, if they did a round robin tournament, would come out being able to beat everybody in that division? Shakur. Over Tank. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, and yeah, I, I mean, I don't think it'll happen for all the reasons that we've said. Um, right. And Shakur is going on how many years as a pro? 2016, turn pro, 2017? He's still young, though. Is he like 24? You know, he, he still hasn't you – know, how many rounds has he lost? Right. Part of it is he's not a destructive type of fighter in the sense that um, – or hasn't been in the sense that, like, Tyson was always referred to. But he's, <laughs> he's more avoided. Right. Um, now, I mean, in, in fairness, listen, Haney's going to 140. Um, and the fight I really want to see is like the, the, the Super Bowl of, of, of boxing dads is, is the Haney's versus the Tiafimo. I think that's, okay. that's like great. And, you know, Bill Haney has said he wanted it. I think the Tiafimo's dad is cool with it too. Um, so when you ask me about lightweight, I'm assuming Haney moves up. But I, I still think when you when you strip everything away right now, um, it's Shakur. Okay. Um, I I think it's Tank, but do you think you'd ever see them fight? Yes, I, I do. I think I, I think Tank and Sh Shakur though has the makings to be one of the greatest fighters in history. Um, but it's still he's still relatively untested in terms of fighting the elite in the division because right. really none of them have really fought each other just a couple fought each other um, that's the but again that's the problem if you look at i know i sound like an old fart i apologize apologize everybody but if you look at who 
Oscar had fought by the time he was 24, 25. Fought everybody. Everybody. Yeah. You know, who, you know um, it, it's just people, that's why the sport was healthier. Yeah. 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 And, you know, and, and guys like Jake Paul are helping it a little bit in terms of bringing a new fan base and getting new eyeballs on it that otherwise wouldn't have been there. So that's the good thing, at least. I think it'd be a good thing if, if Jake Paul could get Shakur and Tank to fight. Then I think it'd be a really good thing if somehow he could do that. I agree. Oh, man. Well, Mark, I don't want to hold you any longer. Um, hey, do they still have Papaya King? Uh, where? In the city? In the city. I live in, part, I live in Brooklyn now. So yes, yes, yes and no. I guess there's still a papaya. Right? I think there is. Yeah, Seventy Second Street. When I'm and in town, you can buy me a papaya. That's definitely. Fine. Next time you're in town, let me know. This about New York. Absolutely. It was good talking to you, and uh, let's let's stay in touch. Take care, brother. Bye bye. All right, man. Take care.